Here's an example. I personally am, 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 am not a fan of tobacco companies. And I've told my agent under no circumstances would I shoot a cigarette commercial. And that's just me. You know? I also happen to be a vegetarian and I might question shooting a certain type of meat commercial. But it's, it's just, again, it's, it's, just, it's staying true to my heart. And, and I think that that's true for everybody. You know, you have to, you have to go where your heart tells you to go. Um, I have a soft spot in my heart for doing stuff that is about um, open-mindedness and it's about um, accepting people who are different than you and seeing the commonality in all human beings. So I really like work that explores diversity and that opens up diversity to a mass audience. Um, I like work that looks, you know, I, I'm, this, I, I can't really talk about the feature I'm up for right now because it, it's, it's, it's not a, you know, it's not done, but um, I'm up for a feature right now which looks at a really controversial topic and it's a dark comedy. And I think, to me, it reminds me of movies like M.A.S.H., and hopefully some of you guys have seen the original M.A.S.H. Um, it reminds me of La Cage Aux Folles. You know, M.A.S.H. dealt with the Korean War in the midst of the Vietnam War, and it was a comedy. La Cage Aux Folles, which was a French movie, dealt with homosexuality, but it dealt with it in a way of looking at these people as human beings first. So the wonderful thing about that type of movie, and the thing that I'm looking at right now, is it takes a topic that your mainstream audience is probably going to initially be turned off to, but because you're dealing with something that's funny and human and real characters, they're going to go watch it. And subversively, they're going to get some messages. And they don't, it doesn't mean they're going to be brainwashed, but it's going to give them something to chew on. It's going to give them something to think about. And I find those opportunities exciting. One of the reasons I like science fiction is because Done well, I think it gives you possibilities of the future. You know, you look at, um, I mean, I'm a fan of Star Trek. I watched Star Trek when I was a kid. And it's, it's just, it's this 1960s TV series that was canceled after three seasons, you know, got a lot of flashy colors. But read how many people who are engineers and doctors mm -hmm. and scientists and <coughs> physicists and astronauts today who that put the seed in their mind. You know, there's a lot of African Americans who got into the space program and got into sciences who were inspired by Lieutenant Uhura. You know, it it showed people these unlimited possibilities, and and that's what gets me excited about being in this business. You know, is 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 challenging people to examine themselves, to examine their culture, to examine the context of it all. You know, to ask questions, to ask their own questions. You know, by not shooting a cigarette commercial, I'm not telling you or any of these other people that you shouldn't smoke. But I'm also not tacitly, um, you know, uh, consenting to something that I don't agree with. So it's a body of work that when I reflect upon my body of work, I'm very proud of it. And that's why I say it's important to pick jobs. And, and sometimes you just have to turn jobs down. And I've had jobs that I looked at it and it was demeaning to characters or it was demeaning to a... A, a, a part of the population, or it depicted the world or relationships in a way that I didn't feel comfortable with. So you have a very strong moral sense about your work and an ethical sense. I do. It, it comes from how you were raised or how you perceived the medium? or It comes from how I was raised. It also comes from, like I, I said, when I was younger, I was very shy. And, and it's funny because being shy and, and being a little bit afraid of people, um, I would keep to myself. And I remember when I got into college, I, you know, I, be, I opened up a bit more and I was affiliating with some of my friends and I would meet some of these, these kids who in high school had either just ignored me or picked on me and we would have a dialogue, you know, and they would say, oh, you know, it's good to see that, you know, you're kind of a cool guy. And I said, <laughs> they, they said, you know, you were a real asshole back in school because you didn't talk to anybody. And I said, well, it wasn't because I thought I was better than you, I was terrified of you. And it was a revelation because it never dawned on me ever, you they, know. They had a different point of view. They had a, and, and you realize and you appreciate that, mm -hmm. and you also appreciate that if somebody has a different point of view, you aren't going to change it, and you certainly aren't going to open their mind by hitting them with a counterpoint and saying you're just wrong. It's this way. Mm -hmm. That's where the subversive comes in. Mm -hmm. And again, it's not that I necessarily want to go around and, and tell people they're wrong, but. All of us, including myself, including the example that I just gave you, we need to consider alternatives and think outside ourselves. Mm.